I'm Italian, so I'm not really a tea person, uh, although I like Earl Grey. Uh, but I drink coffee, black, no sugar, no milk, possibly espresso. My name is Gabriele Baldocci and uh, come from, originally come from Italy. I've been teaching uh, piano at uh, Trinity Lab and since I believe uh, nine years now. And um, I'm really, really honored to uh, be part of uh, such a wonderful uh, faculty, such a wonderful staff. I've been an international concert pianist since my teens. Mm, concertizing was my main activity uh, until, well, for the whole half, first half of my life. And, um, and at some point I got into uh, teaching and I loved it and I, I found myself a better pianist, a better musician, a better human being as well. I was blessed to, uh, to uh, be part of the Martha Argovich uh, competition in uh, 2003 and, um, and since then I've been uh, a very very close friend of Marta Argic who was, who was just a legend and um, and I've been sharing the stage with her for for the past uh, 16 17 years mm, so every time I'm I'm on stage with Marta that's a career highlight really it's it's happened probably 50 times but uh, every time is is a wonder I fell in love with with piano when I was born, basically. Uh, I found a piano at home. My, my family is not a family of musicians, but my father loves art in general, loves music. And um, so he, he bought a very, very old um, English piano, actually. And when I think about it, you know, it was like my destiny was already to play piano and to come to to England. So I found this piano um, and I started to, you know, became my favorite toy. And the piano is, all, is the only instrument where, where I could really pretend at the same time that I'm performing something, a, a solo instrument and, uh, and, uh, and playing an orchestra. It's like playing an orchestra, really, uh, especially when you, when you do certain kind of repertoire. So it's such a versatile instrument uh, uh, and um, you know, is knowing an, a, a, a new renaissance now with so many pianists. Uh, we see, for instance, China. Um, there's so many pianists around, and so many pianists that that uh, you know uh, want to become stars. Is the the era of the internet and you know the YouTube and in social media, and you have you have you know these internet celebrities. I think it's all good because it, it, it keeps our profession alive and in a way we are able to uh, transmit you know, the, really the good music and our values to the future generation. So uh, I think piano is something irreplaceable for me. Teaching for me is something very comprehensive you know I it's it's a I almost have a holistic uh, vision of teaching so it's not just uh, teaching how to move your fingers in order to play an instrument of course that you know the physical part is the is is the foundation you know you, you, you need to know how to uh, how to train your hands but um, ultimately it's about communication, right? So as I said before, music is sharing. In order to enable students to share what they have inside, we must first of all 
need to know what's inside of them. So my task is to bring out their inner um, emotions uh, and to turn them and try to to enter into their microcosmos in order to bring them alive, uh, turn them into sounds. And so to do that, in order to do that, I need to, to train them physically so they know how to produce what they want uh, to, to produce in order to express these emotions on their instrument. And I see also myself as a kind of a guide for them because our profession is, 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 is very competitive. It's a very competitive market, it's very competitive, and it's constantly changing, you know. Today, as I said before, you know, there is a, it's a completely different approach. And, um, and, and, and so I need to be up to date on that as well, and try to support them as much as possible to show them the way, you know, so they can uh, turn their uh, passion into, into a, a, a livelihood, you know, it means for uh, to get what they want to get, you know, it, it doesn't really matter whether they want to be um, soloists or teachers themselves, or sometimes accompanists, or or sometimes just work in a musical business in general. You know, they can they can take part, uh, they can become artistic directors, wh whatever they want to do, really. But it's my task to discover this um, with them, to discover what they can do best, and to enable them to do that. Be yourself, because so many students go to uh, um, you know a musical college and think about stereotypes. You know they, they think that you know uh, pianos uh, pianists should be this 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 and that. So, you know even if you like whatever kind of music, just just express it. We are very open-minded here at Trinity Lab, and we really we probably one of the most open-minded school that I've ever came across in my in my uh, career you can come here and we're you're not going to be in a in a snobbish environment if you know what i mean so music classical music is seen as something unapproachable you know so it's something for it's something that it's good but it's for only a few people it's only for a small niche no here we are very universal so just be yourself be yourself love music and uh, and you'll find yourself at home here